Okay, I'm live. How's it going? This is Benjamin Pang. Um, uh, as you're coming in, uh, put in your name and also where you're coming from so I can give you a shout out. Uh, and for the for those that, you know, come in the first time, uh, my name is Benjamin Pang. I teach you how to grow a profitable home business by leveraging social media. And today, actually, I'm going to talk about, um, you know, why we actually buy tickets. So, you know, in, you know, in our business, in network marketing, we always, you know, leverage the event because we, you know, we know that the millionaires are going to be there, the successful builders are going to be there. You want to bring your team to learn from the best, right? And you always hear, you know, these uh, partners that tell you, oh, you know, you have to, you know, buy tickets again, right? And, you know, it, they don't understand why they buy the tickets. They don't understand why they have to put in, you know, the money into the education, right? They don't value education. They think that when they come to the business, they can start building, right? Totally wrong because wrong mindset in terms of um, thinking because, you know, you took how many years of, you know, education to get a job, right? You went through high school, you went through college to get that paper and then you, you know, you get a nine to five job and how much does it pay you, right? And now you want to run and, you know, a, 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 bus a business, a network marketing business, they're going to pay you forever. It's going to be like a residual income. And yet you're not putting money into your education. You're not becoming a professional in this industry. So how are you going to make the residual income, right? Um, so you know, again, why ask yourself, why do you buy tickets? Because if other people have the same question, you have to answer it yourself first. So do you have the doubt that why you are buying tickets to the next event, right? Um, of course, you don't just buy one, you know, the leaders always, te always tells you, you know, buy three, buy five, buy 10. And, and why? Because you know, sometimes they tell you, okay, this is the way to succeed and everybody, you know, buy tickets and the, because that's the culture, we buy tickets and then we, we grow. And sometimes people take it um, the other way because they think that, oh, you just buy tickets and then you're going to succeed. And you just pay like $1,000 to buy 10 tickets and then you're going to succeed. But they don't understand the, the reason you buy tickets is because you want to sell them, right? You want to, the goal in your business is supposed to be, hopefully is supposed to be helping more people out there because you have the opportunity, you know that it's going to change their life. And without the ticket, they're not going to see the light, they're not going to transform, and they're not going to have the belief to take the business forward, right? So that's why you want to, you know, basically sell them a ticket. It's a door to their success, right? And by not selling that ticket, because basically you're stealing away their dream, okay? And that's why we buy tons of tickets. And the second reason being that we actually want to push ourselves. So let's say you buy one. And what's the urgency of selling two more tickets? You know, look for two more people to go to the convention with you, right? Zero, you have zero motivation because you don't have skin in the game, right? That's why you have to buy tickets because you wanna uh, burn a hole into your pocket. You always hear that, burn a hole in your pocket so that you will do something, right? People do more to get rid of pain instead of getting pleasure. And you have to burn a hole in your pocket and otherwise you're not gonna have the urgency to do it. And some people, some people tell you, buy 10 or buy until you hurt, right? And that's actually very true because if you buy three tickets and you, you still, okay, let's say you buy three tickets and then you don't move them until the next convention, right? You don't move them. So that means that that, that doesn't even motivate you, right? And first of all, do you wanna ask, do you wanna build the business, right? And if you're just being progress, procrastinating, then you want to ask yourself, do you want to, you know, is, is three tickets enough to give you the urgency, right? 
If not, then buy five and buy ten. And remember, if money is important to you, this is gonna work. If money is important to you, this is gonna work. If money is not important to you, let's say you have like so much money, and then you just don't mind losing money, this is not gonna work for you. Okay. So let's say money is uh, scarce. It's it's uh, you don't have a lot. Okay. So you you buy ten tickets, and that's gonna push you to the next level because whenever you look at that ten tickets, you you want to move them, right? Because otherwise you're gonna move, you're gonna lose, let's say, hundred dollars a ticket. You're gonna lose nine hundred of the dollars, and you don't want to do that because you value money, and you're not running a business to lose money, right? And this is exactly the mindset that we want to duplicate. Because first of all, we buy tickets because we want to change other people's lives, and second, we want to give ourselves an urgency. To push our business forward, so that we're not procrastinating, we're not waiting for uh, for the next convention to come and not do anything. And a lot of people go to the convention and they regret not doing anything. But then they they go into they go into this uh, what I call retail therapy, right? You you know what what it means is that you go to the mall and then or you, you just go buy uh go go online and then you want to. You just want to buy something. You want to buy something so that you feel good, right? And it, this is exactly the same. Like some people go to the convention and they listen to people that says, uh, "I'll buy tickets," and this is uh, the system. Follow the system. Buy tickets and buy three tickets because you want to bring two people to the next event, and they buy the three tickets. And now what, right? They this is exactly the retail therapy. They feel good. Because they holding that three tickets, but then they don't do anything about it, right? Or oftentimes they just buy three, and then and then next next convention they buy three, and they just, they just got into a habit of buying three, but there's no purpose beyond behind buying these three other than the you know feeling good, other than that you know it justify uh, or or it support the fact that they they bought the tickets and now. Nobody can tell them, you know, anything else because you know the leaders tell you about three tickets. You bought it. You bought it. That's great. You're gonna and then and then that's it. That's your business. But no, you you have to burn a hole in your pocket. You have to put urgency. If you want to build, if if you want to build, you have to put urgency into your business. And the only way is to burn a hole into your pocket and to buy five. If three doesn't hurt you, buy five or buy ten. Right, and this is why all the leaders out there tell you to buy tickets. It's not for you to eat them, right? Like, you know, you, you might have heard of, heard of it before. You know, you, you don't you know you don't sell the ticket, then you're gonna eat the tickets, right? But the reason you get the tickets is not to eat them, right? Stop eating the tickets, right? The reason why you buy the tickets is for you to move them. And to help people, to change their lives, and also to push your business forward. Period. Right. And that's really what you have to focus on. You really have to focus on how many tickets you have. And right now we have two months left in this year. And have you reached your goal yet? If you haven't, you want to ask yourself, what's your number? Right. What's your target goal? And break it down daily. How many people you need to talk to, so that you can sell the tickets that you want to move, which will take your business to the next level, right? And and play big. Always play big. Dream big. And because this business, your network marketing business, can change people's lives. And if you just keep it to yourself, even if you you have the tickets, but you don't sell them. You're not changing people's lives. You're actually stealing their dreams because you're not presenting them the opportunity, which allow which will allow them to change their lives, right? So go out there and take some action and tear it up, and um, and this is it. Uh, you know, today tonight is a little bit late, but hope that you get this message. And if you get value out of this, share it. 
And I'm going to put a link to my blog so that you can get more information, get more training. And if you haven't liked my page yet, definitely go ahead and do so. And also in the drop down on the top left, you're going to, uh, you can click on it and then definitely press on C first so that you can see, uh, you know, the trainings whenever I do live. And I appreciate you hopping on today and see you in the next live training.